Hello, Good Shepherd and Saints Francis and John. I'm Deacon Mike Lynch with Good Shepherd Catholic Church. This week we prepare with the gospel message for the first Sunday of Lent. A reading from the gospel according to Luke. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me and I may give it to whomever I wish. This will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. Having now begun the holy season of Lent, a season of prayer, sacrificial fasting, and giving alms, we read in this gospel story where we get some of those Lenten practices from Jesus himself. The gospel says Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the desert to fast and to pray. We too are called by the Spirit into Lent for the same practices. All of us have temptations in life and we read that Jesus too was tempted in the desert by the devil. In his case, the temptations were about making his time in the desert easier by creating bread for himself. Accepting worldly power and glory, which was hardly why Jesus came into the world, and making a show of his divinity by jumping from the temple knowing the angels would rescue him. But Jesus resisted these temptations. He didn't let the enticements of an easier, grander life lure him from what his father had planned for him, a humble ministry of preaching repentance and service to God's people, particularly outcasts. A ministry that was challenged by the Jewish leaders of his time, eventually bringing him the humiliation of crucifixion. Jesus' ministry and his offering of himself on his cross for our sake completed his father's promise to send a redeemer for mankind. And each of us is called to follow in Jesus' steps, resisting temptations as Jesus did, and willingly accepting difficulties and sacrifices, particularly during Lent, that we might at least temporarily let go of unnecessary things and habits that prevent us from recognizing who we really are, redeemed children of God. So think about this Lenten season as a journey with Jesus, consciously considering how he fasted and prayed in the desert and letting him be our guide, our example, and our focus. Here are some household and family discussion and activity points. As a family, talk about how difficult 40 days in the desert in Jesus' time would be for your family. How would you handle not finding safe drinking water, restrooms, a physician if somebody comes ill? What about food? The desert Jesus walked did not have a Kroger or a McDonald's. Did you know that almost one billion people on earth do not have safe drinking water? Did you know that almost 700 million people do not have access to nutritious food? And 22% of those are children under the age of five who have had so little food that their growth has been stunted. Put together a plan for your family to be responsible with the water you use and planning meals where there won't be so much waste. Commit to being more aware of the waste in your family's life as well as sharing your abundance with others in need. 
CRS, the Catholic Relief Services, Operation Rice Bowl is a great place to start. God bless and see you at Mass.